so my heart. Now, I was going to preach tonight, dead, dead for pastors makes dead churches. But I'm not going to preach tonight because I, yeah, that would be convenient tonight. Would you please? <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. But I want you to turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse, starting at verse 19. We're living in a time the world is trying to rub off on the Christians. That's right. They're calling good, bad, bad, good. Yeah. Amen. Six, six, and uh, we just got to recognize First that we're not, uh, we're, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. Amen. And we need we to realize who we are. How many knows who you are? Amen. A lot of people don't know who they are. And that's what I'm going to preach on tonight. Amen. I will preach on just two simple words let not. Let not. That means. I don't allow. And I looked up the word let not, I couldn't find nothing. So, well, I'll just look up let. Amen. And you know what it says? It's to give permission or an opportunity to. I'm not going to give the devil permission. That's right. And I'm not going to give him no opportunity. Amen. Amen. And uh, but once we know who we are, I know we're a sacred child of the God. But church, we're more, we're more than what God, we can be more than what God wants us to be. Amen. Now the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which it is in you. See, the Holy Ghost lives within us. Thank God Jesus went to Calvary and went up to heaven after that and sent us a comfort back that he can live with us. And we need him, church, in us. Not just on us, but in us. Amen. So we are the temple of God, which he lives within us. And he says, you are not your own. Now, church, I'm here to tell you, too many Christian people think they can do what they want to do, live the way they want to live, and everything else. They ain't what God says. That's right. I said, that's not what God says. Amen. You're not your own. Hey, but Christians are born along with but people are killing their babies and everything. They already know better than that. Because right. they say, the, that's my body. No, that's not your body. Your body belongs to God. Right. He Amen. created Amen. him. Amen. He made him. Yes. Glory yes. To God. And the Holy Spirit lives in that body. Give them Christians. Glory Amen. to God. Verse 20 says, for you are bought with a price. Yep. I mean, that was a big price. A heavy price. Yes. He gave it all. Praise God. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. It belongs to God. Amen. Yep. But now, church, let me tell you something. Let not, first of all, I want to talk about the devil. We have a tendency to, amen, for Christians, amen, to let the devil come in, give him an opportunity, glory to God. But the Bible said, neither give place to the devil. Too many Christians are, are surrendered to the devil and everything. And church, God doesn't want that. Right. Amen. Now the Bible tells us, in, that's in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27, neither give place, amen, to the devil. Now Job says, in chapter 11, in the Old Testament, Job chapter 11, verse 13, if you, if you, if thou, in other words, us, if we would prepare a, 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 a place, or their heart knows it said, If thou prepare thy heart and stretch out thy hands towards him, if a nature be in thy hand, cut it away. Amen. And let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. We can't let sin dwell in us, church. Amen. We, we need to prepare our hearts. Let God prepare that heart. And he give us a new heart. He give us a new spirit that we can walk in Jesus. Can I hear an amen? amen. How many walking in Jesus? Amen. I'm walking with Jesus. I'm walking in Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. But the Bible says in verse 14, For then shalt thou lift up thy face, of well as we can come boldly before the throne. See, if we've got sin in our life, Brother Jay, we can't go boldly before the throne because right. God won't. He won't look at us. He won't Amen. answer unless we begin to repent. Glory to God. He said, Let, Shall I lift up thy face, come boldly without spot, yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shall not fear. Amen. So what, 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 what God laid on my heart, now I'm talking about this church.
church, I'm talking about people. Now, I look, uh, uh, and I know that most of the people work, look on Facebook. And so many Chris, so called Christians, confess they're Christians, and they're not walking right, they're not talking right, and they're not living right, and they think that they're all right, but what they're doing, they're letting the devil come in, amen, still having God in, amen, and uh, they're, not, they're not shining a light. Amen. Right. Amen. So what, the, what God is saying here, let not your evil be spoken good. Don't let your good be speaking, spoke of. And trust me, tell you, when, I, when I worked, I, I, that was a job for me. And it should be a job for you. When I'm around my neighbors, that's a job. Say, hear that, man? And when I'm around the loved ones, it's a job. I can't let my good be evil spoke of. Amen. Because it what does it tear down the, the testimony that you have? Amen. So what we have to do is listen to what the scripture says. Amen. Amen. Now, we understand. We are written epistles and read of all people. My neighbors read me. My church reads me. My friends read me. Those I associate with reads me. It tells me if I'm a prisoner, it tells me if I'm not walking right. They're looking to me. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, you are you are our epistle written of all heart in our heart and know and read. In other words, now you uh, got these small letters here. Oh, the devil don't like this. He's trying to take it away from you. Amen. You are epistle written in our hearts, knowing and read. So you are being seen, you are being watched, you are being looked upon, and you're being read by all men. <laughs> oh, you listen to what I'm saying tonight. So therefore, if we're being read, if we're being watched, we're being looked upon, amen, that we, we need to, amen, not let our evil be spoken of, and don't let the devil come in. The devil will use us, amen, to try to destroy your testimony and your witness for God. Amen. Amen. Let God, don't give him permission, don't give him an opportunity, don't let his foot come in the door. Amen. See, we, we confess one thing and walk another way. We talk another thing and talk another way. Can I hear an amen? amen. Glory to God. But church be saved, the Bible says, let your light shine. We'll live in a dark world like the, like the sister said, well, this world is, is darkness. And, and we are the light of the world. That means just a little bit of light. What you say, I'm not, I'm not to do anything. I, I'm not to, in other words, I don't, I'm not to squint this like I want to, whatever, but you walk in your life the way you are to walk, you are a light, amen, to, to all the people that, that's watching you. We're read every day. We're read every day. We're looked up on every day. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And church, this should be a problem for us as Christians to live, to glorify God, and to be a light and to be a salt of earth, because church, we have something in us. The Bible says that we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is in us, Jesus is in us, and God is in us, and we can glorify God. Can I hear an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Oh, I thank God. I thank God we can feel what we feel now because church will say so. God will hold nothing back when we're walking with God. I said God will hold no good things back when we're walking with Him. And I tell you, church, you can't buy what we have tonight. I said you can't buy what the way we feel tonight. You can't buy that move of the Holy Ghost tonight. And thank God, church, when we walk up right with Him, He'll not withhold any good things from us. But we've got to be that light. We've got to be that witness that we can be, be read of all men. See, sometimes we, we, if we just, uh, when, when, you're, when, we're, when we got lost love, haven't got lost love once, amen, you know, the best way to witness to them, I don't know, sometimes you can witness to them and talk to them. You know what? You know what the first thing they say? I know. I know. I know. I know. But if you've got that walk in you and you've got that talk in you, and you got that witness in you, just live a life before them. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Talk to talk and walk to walk. Glory to God. And you will glorify God and in turn God will bless you and your family, your loved ones. 
Yes. But we can't let the devil in. Right. We can't give him an opportunity. And that's what a lot of Christians are doing today. Look on the Facebook thing. Look around a lot of so-called Christians. They're, they're doing one thing, they're living one thing, they're doing just the opposite. Amen. So we're the temple of God. Now the Bible says that not sin ring in your body or your temple. Thank God when we got saved. We, 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 got, we got saved by the blood of Jesus. He washed our sins away. He justified us. He sanctified us. Glory to God. And, and put us amen, in the body of Christ in the spirit. And church, I thank God, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And we've got victory, glory to God. And the devil no longer, the devil no, no, no longer reigns. And sin no longer reigns in the body if we don't allow him. Amen. I said if we don't allow him. Right. He lays dormant. He lays dead right. until we let him maybe come in and open the door for him. That he'll rise up again because of this whole flesh. We can put it under the blood. Yeah. Oh, this is what I'm saying. Glory yeah. to God. How feel it is. That's how you get God in the, in the church, in, in the life of your home, your thing. Right. Living and preaching what you what way you walk and talk. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? I thank God for grace tonight, church. Amen. Because we grow in grace and knowledge of God. And we pick that cross up every day and follow Jesus and talk to Jesus and walk with Jesus. Ask Jesus, amen, to help you. And if you, if you do, fulfill it by the wayside, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and say, Jesus, by your blood, cleanse me and make me whole again, and I'll walk with you again. Amen. You know what? God won't give up on you if you don't give up on God. Power will shut the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But you don't make grace, make grace a disgrace. Praise God. I tell you, we'll trade that spirit tonight. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 says, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? We're dead to sin because Jesus, amen, he died, and, amen, and shed his blood for us, and he went to the grave, he was resurrected, and praise God, God gave up and lifted him up. We, when we come to Jesus, we go to that grave, glory to God spiritually, and he, amen, he cleans us, and he raises up, praise God, give us a resurrection life, a brand new life, a glorified life, glory to God, that we can walk with Jesus, and we don't have to sin, glory to God. But if we do sin, he said, my Lord, for not brother, you're not sin, but you do sin, amen, ask God to forgive you, and just keep on walking, amen. and just keep on talking. And don't give up on Jesus. Amen. Preacher. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel this tonight. This needs to be preached. Amen. I wish all the Facebook people, all the churches could hear me tonight. Amen. Oh, the devil's like this. That's right. I said the devil's like this. The devil don't like this. That's right. If you walk your saved born again, praise God, and you know you're walking in Jesus, you'll love me because the Bible's telling you what the amen. The truth is that thank God you know you're saved and your sins are gone and you got victory over your sins. Glory to God. You got victory over the devil and you got victory over the sins. All because of Jesus, not because of you, but because of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. I'll give the Lord a hand clap to But we have to work at this. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Amen. Don't say one thing or do another thing. Hallelujah. We can't let see it ring in our body. But we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. Verse 4 says, Therefore we are buried with the baptism unto his death, or into his death, like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in the newness of life. Oh, hallelujah. When I was a sinner, I, I could not walk as a sinner. I was a slave to sin. I was a slave to the devil. But thank God I, I trade test pastors. Now I got saved. Glory to God. Now I walk with Jesus. Talk with Jesus. Glory to God. I've been resurrected in a new life. I've been saved in heavenly places and walking in some news of, of, of Christ. Glory to God. And the devil don't like it. Oh, glory. It said that we should. It said, verse 5 said, For if we have been planted... Lord, I'm glad I planned it. Together in the likeness of his death, we shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. That means a born again birth and a resurrection birth. Yeah, exactly. Can I say that again? 
in the res in the resurrection of a new birth and the resurrection of a new amen a new body. I, I thank God for the resurrection. When I got saved, I died with Jesus. Glory to God. I was resurrected in Jesus. And I'm alive. Glory to God. Amen. And give God the glory because that He lives in me. Glory to God. And I'm a new creature. Glory to God. And, and sin don't have no authority over me. I'm not a slave to sin. I'm not a slave to the devil. I'm not a slave to this flesh. I'm, and I'm a slave to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I don't have to let the devil control me. Right. But we got to be careful. We can't let our good be spoken of. Some of these people on Facebook and everything else and how these Christians live sometimes, they're not, they're, they're, they're not letting their good be spoken of. That's right. Amen. You got to, if you say you're a Christian, you better walk like a Christian. Talk like a Christian. Be like a Christian. Amen. Well, the, 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 the world will try to pull you down. Even your friends will try to pull you Amen. down. Amen. That's true. They want to they see you fall because you, you're, you're a witness to them. Your condemnation to them. They don't like to be condemned. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to hurry because I know we're running late. But you know what? You ought to enjoy this night when we feel right. Yeah. Amen. 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 We have we've had bread, bread and had bread from heaven tonight. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Got that river flowing through us tonight. Glory to God. Amen. We shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing that this old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now if he be dead with Christ, we believe we shall also live with Christ. The glory to God. Knowing, first I said, knowing that Christ has been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death hath no more to demand it over him, and it hath no more over us. Amen. Likewise, Reckon you also yourself to be dead, verse 11 says, indeed of indeed unto sin, but alive and unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your body. That means trouble. She said, let not. Don't allow. Don't give him an opportunity. We have a problem with sin, church. We have a problem with this old man. You know what? Thank God for Jesus Christ and our Lord. His Lord. Amen. He said on the right hand side, the Father, He's our high priest tonight. He makes we go to Him. He makes an intercession for us. Amen. And, and, and He can, and the devil can't. Amen. Condemn over that because God looks at His Jesus, at his, his Son Jesus, and the blood that He shed, and the blood covers us. We fall. Praise God. And so, devil, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Amen. Hallelujah. I know if you preach like this. In the world, God will bless the church. Right. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> but I sure don't want to be no dead preacher. Uh -uh. I'll preach that next week, Lord's will. Maybe a lot more uh, spiritual. Amen. But I think this is spiritual tonight. Amen. See, God knows what we need. He knows that we needed a good spiritual service tonight. Right. Amen. That I can preach this, amen, with confidence and with ease because you're willing to accept it because you've already been blessed by Jesus. You know the power of Jesus. You know the anointing of Jesus. And, and you know, amen, that you've been forgiven yes. and lifted up glory to God. Yes. So you're willing to grow in grace and knowledge of God. Verse 12 says, Let not your portion sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey him in the lust thereof Neither you your members as instruments of a righteousness unto sin. We talk about members. Our greatest member and, and the roughest member is our tongue. Nobody wants to speak in tongues anymore, but they want to blab that tongue. Amen. Can I hear an amen that if you got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, he'll sanctify that tongue. Yes. That's the reason why they have so much in it. Uh, uh, well, you must see it in the church. Because you're not saying the right thing. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Verse 14 says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Think about that. Let not your evil, your good be spoken of. Let not sin, let not Jesus, I mean the, the devil, and, and let the flesh. Don't let them rule over you. You've got dominion over them. God gave you uh, a dominion over these rules because of Jesus and what he did on Calvary. Now the Bible says also in closing tonight, Jesus knew 
that he was going to go back to the Father. Amen. And Jesus knew as he preached and taught the disciples, brother, they couldn't comprehend a lot of things he was saying. That's right. And they couldn't even comprehend that he would die and go to Calvary and everything. Even, even Peter rebuked, was rebuked because of that. Right. What are you trying to say? Because they, he didn't have a, they didn't have the Holy Ghost teaching showing them. That's the last thing God, Jesus told them about the Holy Spirit. But what I'm trying to say is, he knew that they were going to suffer. He knew that they were going to have to see Jesus suffer. He, and all this other stuff, and all the trials, and, and all the things that they were going to have to face. And he said, let not your heart be troubled. Trouble me, don't be in distress. Don't let the world distress you. Don't let the tr world trouble you. Don't let the devil trouble you. Don't let the flesh trouble you. Don't let nothing trouble you. Just look unto Jesus, the author, and finish your faith, and he will see us do it. Like the sister said, I'm looking forward to heaven. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to that trumpet to say. I know a lot of churches, the churches are not looking for that tonight. I said, I know a lot Amen. of churches are not looking for that tonight. Because one of them not even having church tonight. Right. And those that do have church, the biggest part of the church people not here tonight in these churches. Amen. Go through these churches, used to be when I was a young Christian, the, the church houses would be full, the parking lots would be full, and then you can tell them both your heads and feet. Right. Hello. Amen. They're not looking for Jesus. But they do have a troubled heart. Amen. Because they're not, they don't understand what Jesus says. Don't let not your heart be troubled. Did you let it be afraid? Praise God. We don't have to walk in fear. We don't have to walk in a heart or distress every day because we know that our Jesus lives and he's coming back and he'll not let us suffer no more that we can handle. Amen. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Believe in God, we lost one me. I mean, that gives all the Jews a black eye, Brother James. Right. Amen. They wouldn't, they wouldn't accept Jesus Christ. There's a lot of churches they don't accept Jesus Christ and what he did. Oh, he was a good man. He was a prophet, all this stuff. Who do you say that Jesus is? Amen. That's what he asked the disciples. Who do you say that I am? The Son of Man. Who do you think? He, he said, God showed Peter by revelation, said, Thou art Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. There's so many Christians today that have a troubled heart. Because they're not walking in Jesus. They're not believing in Jesus. Glory to God. John 14, 1 and 3 says, Let not your heart be troubled, be in distress, or be disturbed. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I, swear, I would have told you, I go prepare a place for you. You would have told us. Amen. The church, they still didn't quite understand. Even one of them asked, well, Lord, where are you going? Oh, Dowdy Thomas, one of them said, where are you going? Why can't we go with you? I go prepare a place for you, and if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, and when I am there, there you may be also. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, they says, don't Quit on God. Amen. What I'm, I'm perfecting. For well, God will put on you. Paul says, I have kept the faith. We got to walk in faith, church. Not walk in a troubled heart, in a distressed heart, but walk in faith. Paul said, I have kept the faith. This is what he says there. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day. And not only not only me, but, but also unto all those all them that have also love his appearing. I love his, I'm gonna love his appearing. Amen. 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 But church, let me tell you something. The whole theme of this tonight is don't let your good be evil spoken of. Oh, but don't say one thing and do another. Don't walk one way and, talk, and walk another way. Don't talk one way. Be a Christian. Be faithful to Jesus. Let them see the light in you, the salt in you. Let them see how, how you separate yourself from the world. You don't live like the world, act like the world, talk like the world. 
because you're not showing the light. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. And believe you, the long face book and everything else, is like even church people, let your good be evil spoken of. In other words, mocked and made fun of and everything. Because they're saying one thing and, and talking another thing. Walk in another way, walk in the way the, the world wants to walk. The church, thank God, we thank you. Let's all stand tonight. Church, we need to ask God, Lord, don't let me walk. Don't let me. Don't let me.